Don't think I'll be needing any more from there. Keeper. Aurea said that I should compete in the trials here. Aurea did? She's never sent someone before. Then what is your reason for training? I would ask this of any Banuk who attempted the trials. I'm going to challenge Aratok to become chieftain of his Warak. <laughs> well, you better get started then. You look like you've got some stories to tell. Oh, I outlived most of my stories. I ran with the Thunder's Daughters long ago before they ran their course. For a time, we shook the snow off the men of Benor. I couldn't last. Some fell in glorious battle. Some were exiled in infamy. Still glorious, if you ask me. Others had a worse fate. What's worse? To grow old. And find that all the rules and traditions you fought so hard against are still there. That's why I tell all the hunters I trained to stay young. How do the trials work around here? There's no Karja medals. I had some, but I used them to patch up holes in my snow boots. Instead, you'll compete against the best times set by other Banuk hunters. To take second place, even third place, puts you among names of legend. What if I come in first? We'll see. I'm guessing you're not part of the Hunter's Lodge. Every tribe claims they were the first to have hunting grounds. Then every tribe claims the Karja stole it from them. So who was the first? We were. And the Karja stole it from you. That's right. Each trial is a challenge for survival. But I can tell you more. The Onslaught trial challenges a hunter to withstand the ebb and flow of combat. Machines will be released into the arenas in waves. Pace yourself. Strategize. Only then will you be able to defeat them all without being overwhelmed. Use the rope to get to the arena and we'll start. We'll need a moment to pull the machines from the pass into the arenas. Then make your descent. Introduced.
I can't feel my... I can't feel much of anything in this. First run on that trial, and you claimed second place. I haven't seen many pull that off. No more trials. Not yet. You can always come back. I beat a champion's time. That should get the wear act talking. Bandits are so clearing them out, but it's not a good kind of message.
shut you down proper. No calling in reinforcements. Smells peaceful. I hate peace. A lot of people die peacefully. Not me. I got a feeling. Search the camp. Call that a search? Glad I don't pay you lark skulls a retainer! comes crawling out. Not a bad feeling.
gonna shine right through you when I'm done. Got you a present. Won't be long before the Werak finds out I took out the bandit camp. In fact, I'll bet my name's all over Song's Edge. Might be time to challenge Aratok. My people have been telling tales of your accomplishments. Seems you have taken a special interest in our stretch of snow, Outlander. Yes. And apparently this is the only way I'll get to see all of it. Is this a challenge? For the Warrack. You? <laughs> this must be a joke. It is not a joke, Eratok.
The Outlander's your pawn. And with you backing her claim, I have no choice but to accept. I expected better of you, sister. It was you who forbid me from Thunder's drum, brother. Brother and sister? This is a little more complicated than I thought. No, it's simple. You will meet me at the Frost Figures, and I'll put a quick end to this mockery. I suppose I owe you an explanation. Yeah. I suppose you do. So, why didn't you tell me that you and Aratok are siblings? I thought I wouldn't have to. I'm surprised Aratok brought it up in front of a stranger. He must be very angry. I'm not always the best judge of... People? I prefer the company of spirits. They're simply my own. I didn't want you to think of our pilgrimage as some sort of family squabble. It's much more important than that. It's bold, I'll give you that. Going after your own brother? He gave me no choice. He thinks I'm a child to be shoved to the back of the hunt. He would forbid me from my destiny. And yet, part of me did it knowing he would forgive me, eventually. He always does. Family drama aside, what's this challenge meant to be anyway? You and Aratak will hunt machines at the Frost Figures. The victor will be the fastest. It won't be easy. Nothing about this has been so far. When you meet us at the starting point, I'll tell you more. It will be simpler to explain from the base of the hills. Aurea, it's not about who's related to who. I want to know what's inside Thunder's drum. The spirit, the daemon, and how it all connects to the machines. But if we're gonna go through with this, I need you to be straight with me. I... underestimated you. And Aratak. I won't make that mistake again. I'll see you at the Frost Figures, then. So, off to risk my life in order to take charge of up a nuke hunting band. Just what I always wanted. Frost Figures, here I come. Uh, so morning's your Frost figure should be just up there. The frost figures. When we're talking to Ray, I must be close.
Outlander. I have prevailed over such challenges before, and fear none. But this one is foolish. You are not Banuk. You do not understand my responsibilities. I ask you, one hunter to another, withdraw. Will you let us go to Thunderstrom? You haven't seen what's up there, Outlander. I will not risk my sister's life again. Then we better get on with this. So be it! I will bury your insolent claim in the frozen ground! Enough! Let us begin! To hunt! To strive! That is the way of the Banuk and of the contest before you. You will climb the frost figures from the east, Aratok from the west. Each trail wends its way through deadly machines. Hunters from the Werak will be posted along the way. They will hail you, calling out machines for you to slay. Your hunt will take you around the ridge to the center, where you must descend to the valley for your final kill. Each time, after your prey has fallen, you must launch a beacon such as this so that all our kin will see your progress. Kill machines, launch balloons. Got it. So, the first of us to launch the third balloon wins? Well, yes. And as Challenger, your path to victory is harder. If even one of your beacons comes in after Aratox, he prevails. <laughs> you had your chance, Outlander. So did you. The hunt begins on my mark. Gotta head up that mountain. Looks like there are a few ways to go up. And those rock paintings mark the paths. Okay, up we go. Wasting.
your marker! All right, here we go. Now climb the ridge and launch your balloon! Haratok knows what he's doing. No time to waste. Take the rappel point to the next challenge. Two bellowbacks ahead, Challenger. Kill them both. None of the other machines matter. Alright, two dead bellowbacks coming up. Launch your balloon! I'm ahead, but only by a little. I gotta get moving. Now take the zipline and work your way down to the valley. Storm's kicking up. Can't see much. Almost down. All right, it's the last challenge. Something's wrong. My kin should be here, driving in our final quarry.
it's true. Frost claws from Thunder's Drum. The attack cut short the competition. Naturally, there can be no result. It is void. You saw what she did. She defeated the machines, not I. It is proven. She is the better hunter. We are Banuk. Survive, prevail. What else matters? My blood is in your teeth. I take my place behind you on the hunt. No more hunters may make the ascent to Thunder's Drum. The way is closed to all but the chieftain and myself. It is not my place, but I would ask a boon to accompany you and my sister. It might be permitted. But only if you do as I say. No. Only if you do as I say. Thunder's drum awaits. There's a camp at its base, Long Notch it's called. Meet us there when you're ready. Chieftain. A new outfit. And a weapon like Artox. I guess the Chieftain gets the Chieftain's gear. And now it's a long notch. Nothing left to keep me from Thunder's drum. <laughs>